Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm Mark, I've got Steve here. We're talking about Final Cut Pro and some improvements in workflow, some things you can do better than you could do before, right? Correct. Remember back in Final Cut Pro 7, you were able to take a timeline and export all the individual clips? I can't clips. remember back that far. <laughs> well, you could do it. And uh, I did a uh, YouTube video, let's say about a year ago, called Batch Exporting Clips. From Final Cut Pro 10. Right, but the secret was I had to launder them through DaVinci Resolve. <laughs> and it was a bit of a hassle, and there's a better way to do it now, so pretty much this video is defunct. All right, well, let's see, let's see the better yeah. way. Okay, so back in Final Cut Pro 10, we, I have three clips. By the way, I, I was playing with my new Karma drone, and this is about a 10-minute clip, and I chopped it into three separate clips, and I added a time code generator, the one that came uh, shipping with Final Cut 10.3. Uh, the time code uh, effect. I'm sorry, the time code effect. Yes. But what's great about it is it's fantastic. It's got on-screen controls for moving it around. You can see the controls. You can change the color. I find this to be one of the nicest. Very flexible. Very flexible. And it includes the, is that the file name, the clip name? Right. So it'll read the clip name that you have for the, each clip. And nice. I, I find that nice. to be very nice. And I, In fact, I don't want to obscuring the guys down here so I can then just move it up here. But why did I do this? Because in that original uh, clip exporting uh, movie I did for Resolve, yes. we added the time code in Resolve. But you don't okay. have to do that now. You can do it right do in Final right Cut. Here. So. Yep. All right, so how do we get these clips out of Final Cut into, onto the Finder, into a folder somewhere? Okay. Right. Well, the secret sauce is, the secret sauce is frame.io. Right. We just had a big update. Big update. I, I, I tell you, this, this app is a killer app. We use it constantly. Every Final Cut Pro user should be using yep. this thing. And, and there's another reason to use it, and, here, and here's, here it is. So I'm gonna go up to Preferences, and you'll notice here it says, Manually Set Render Output Locations, FCP 10 only. Okay. By toggling this on and then mm -hmm. closing the window, in this case I can close the window, this is by the way called a helper app, and the way you get this is you go to the Mac App Store and download it. Okay. It's free, but you still have to have a frame.io account. account to actually upload to it, okay. Right. Uh, so that's that's just uh, here nor there, but uh, I just want to point out where, where did this interface come from? You yes. download it from the Mac App Store. So I'm gonna close that. So you set that up by turning on that little toggle. Yes. All right, now, next thing is, this was a clip, This these three clips came from a longer 10 minute clip and I chopped them into, into three pieces. And yes. I want them to export as individual files. from Exactly as they appear in the timeline. Exactly as they appear in the timeline. Mm -hmm. So there they are. And I want the time code on there. Right. But if I didn't, of course, I can always just turn it off. So what I'm going to do is go to the share menu and I already have a preset set for frame.io right there. Yes. It's already set up. One of so your I'm destinations. One of my destinations. And it's going to bring up the export file window. And I'm going to click next. And first thing that will happen is the helper app will open. Right. So this is the helper app. Now, you have to give it a project. You have to tell it what project you're going to be associating your uploaded clip with. Even though we're not going to be uploading, you still have to do this. The project in the frame.io. Frame.io. That's right. Okay. That's exactly it. Okay. You have to create a project within yes. frame.io. I created a project called Karma Drone. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And I want to export just the clips. Okay. Right. So that's all I'm interested in. I want individual clicks. Not the whole timeline. Right. Now, it, this... Now, you may be thrown off by this says upload, but we'll get to that in a moment. Okay. okay so I'm going to click upload. And it asked me, well, what folder? We're because we put that toggle on, it's asking me for a folder to yes. save the clips into. So I'm going to go to the desktop and I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call this Karma Exported. Can't uh, exported clips. Easy. Click create and click open. open. Okay. Now what's going on? Well, you can see from the background task window, yes. something is actually happening. Now, if I go back, it's sharing, yeah. Uh -huh. Now, I'm going to go back to frame.io helper app, and you'll notice here that frame.io is waiting for that export to happen before it starts uploading. uploading. Yes. Now, now it says, now notice it says uploading. Yeah. But the great thing is, you don't have to upload, you just cancel the upload. Yep, don't want it uploading. Okay, <laughs> done. Now, if I go back to the finder, yes. And you'll find this, there's this folder, Karma Exported Clips. There's the Karma Clip folder. Inside, they created a Clips folder, and inside, they created individual folders with each clip. And notice there's my time. Yeah, yeah, there's one. You saw there's three clips. Here's another one. And then here's my third one. So depending on how many clips you have, and there it is with my altered time code ah, yes. source. But there they are, 
all at the local level at your desktop. In fact, Frame.io created a full movie and an XML that you can import and it'll reassemble your timeline. I'll put it back together. Put it back yeah. together okay. if you want to. Is the Karma MOV the whole timeline? Yeah, it's the whole timeline. Okay, so it exports that as well? Yeah, it exports that as well, okay. exactly. So, so you, you could delete that if you just If you wanted, wanted to, you, yeah. It, okay. You could totally do it, but it's, you could see it's all three kind of uh, welded together. Right. Okay. But essentially, that's, that's it. Um, you could now export individual clips from Final Cut Pro 10 using uh, Frame.io with that one one little toggle. In toggle that, and then cancel the upload. And then if it is, if you do want all those clips in one folder, there's a little bit of work to to do a little bit of a cleanup in the Finder to move them. Yeah, I noticed that is there it, was individual. Yeah, if you have like 50 clips, session. you have a bunch of folders you have yeah. to dig yeah. dig into. But you know, it's it's a minor inconvenience yeah. to me compared to doing it the going other through, way, going, going through resolve. resolve. Yeah, yeah. So very I, very cool. I think it's a great little feature. Nice, nice, and and then you, unusual because usually you think of Frame IO is you're always focused on what it's uploading, and here you're not uploading anything. You're just using it as a way of getting your clips locally. Well, what's fa fascinating, you could I could have still uploaded. You could still do it, of course. I, I can get to share just a clip. I can get the clips on my local hard drive, and they'll be up on Frame yeah. yeah. Really, really flexible. Very mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. Hope you guys like that as well. RippleTraining.com is what we're all about. Tutorials and plugins about Final Cut Pro 10, Motion, DaVinci Resolve, and much more. Check us out, and we will see you next week here on MacBreak Studio.